Now, if a young Dutch Moroccan uh, app developer had his way, Muslims in the Netherlands will be able to rate their imams online. Mohammed Muman says imams rarely get feedback from their followers. Now, he believes that his app can give prayer leaders a better picture of what's happening in their communities and can also keep young people from being radicalized. Zezinho Rosblad has more from Amsterdam. 39-year-old Mohammed Muman calls his app Minbar, which means tribune. It allows worshippers at a mosque to rate the imam and his sermons. He says Minbar can change the way Muslims communicate with their imams. The Minbar is built for imams. It's a platform to bring imams and their following closer together and make them understand each other better. This way, the imam can also see what's happening within the community. And I can the imam also see what is spelled under the lastras. The app is easy to use. Users can search for their mosque and see how many likes it has, what feedback the imam has been given, and give their own opinion about their worship leader. Mouman got the idea when he visited a mosque, had a question, and realized he could not simply raise his hand and ask the imam to explain something. I sat in the mosque, and uh, yeah, to that. I also didn't feel comfortable to go up to the imam and say it face to face. I was thinking about a way to say something that was also permanent. That's when I was thinking about mobile and something for the imam to read later. Muman thinks his app can also be used to tackle jihadism and radicalization. He says many young people get drawn to radical ideas online, like those spread by the Islamic State, because they cannot fully connect to their mosque and imam. Nou, ik denk dat men ook een oplossing biedt voor radicalisering, omdat er natuurlijk ISIS en uh, andere... ISIS and other radical extremist groups are avid users of social media to recruit new members. But we can facilitate a counter-jihad by drawing young people to our app to fight a more intellectual form of the jihad. VOA asked several imams what they thought of the app, but none were willing to comment. Theologian and Muslim scholar Hassan al bakali says he thinks that just giving a like or dislike might be oversimplistic. But as someone who sometimes preaches himself, he says getting feedback is much needed. I think that feedback is important. It gives you an idea whether you're still on the right path or not, or whether there's a demand from the community to discuss certain issues. One problem in the Netherlands is that many imams have been brought from countries like Turkey and Morocco. Often they don't speak Dutch and therefore miss a connection with worshippers, especially those who barely speak Arabic. Right. You cannot carry your responsibility if you don't know what's happening in the community. As someone who's coming from abroad, you can get a short introduction, but it'll never be the same as someone who lives in that community and knows what needs there are. Muman is now working to expand the app, opening a crowdfunding campaign to finance its further development. Serginho Rosblad for VOA News, Amsterdam.